Hello everyone, it's such an truly an honor for me to be able to take a part in this summer school virtually. My name is Duano Sapta Nusantara, a graduate student of Suja University, South Sumatra, Indonesia. Currently, I have been accepted to be doctoral students in Suja University through PANDAS scholarship. This scholarship basically the acceleration study from graduate for a year to doctoral degree for three years. And this scholarship also will support me to go to Utrecht University in order to improve the quality of publication as an output of my research. And this research is a part of PEMDAS project, which was initiated by a pair of professors in UNSRI, namely Professor Zulkardi and Professor Ratu Ilma Indra Putri. On this occasion, I would like to present in brief my research interest entitled Designing a Learning Environment Using PISA-like Mathematics in COVID-19 Context for Secondary School Students. So let's start by discussing the overview. A concrete step was briefly taken by our government, Indonesian Minister of Education, by issuing a breakthrough wrapped perfectly in for educational policy program that freedom of learning. The boldest one is the termination of national examinations starting from 2021 that will be changed to assessment of minimum competency or AMC which concern on numeracy based on good instructional practice at the international level like PISA. The term numeracy is similar to mathematics literacy in PISA which described as a fundamental proficiency that provides students to formulate, employ, and interpret many variety contexts in the life situation. These hopes appear to see the bad facts of education in Indonesia. Indonesian students fare poorly performance in the domain of mathematics in PISA with a score of 379, which was significantly far below with the OECD average with a score of 489. So these are the underlying factors included the poor performance of Indonesian students in PISA, lack of students' ability in solving context-based and limited learning resources provided by the textbooks. In order to make them familiar with the PISA-like, we need to develop a learning environment that provides PISA-like by adapting the local context. Primary is based instructional theory to use a context in order to escalate mathematical concepts through mathematization. When we are talking about the context, COVID-19 outbreak is a good example of context which can be implemented in mathematics learning. At the same time, the government direct learning amid COVID-19 pandemic should be focused on education in life skill to face COVID-19. So that's why the, the chance that can be taken to do research by developing a learning environment using COVID-19 as a contact in designing PISA life. As a main framework to do research, we apply the design research consisted of preliminary and formative evaluation. For the preliminary phase, we took several activities such as analysis the current curriculum, evaluate the PISA framework to produce the draft of PISA comat, and examine the initial student's proficiency to determine the research subject. In the self-evaluation phase, we examine the initial prototype based on the PISA framework. After that, we plot it to expert and one-to-one -one at once to see the validity of PISA command regarding content, construct, and language. From the comment and suggestion, we took consideration to revise the prototype and produce a valid prototype. The valid prototype was tested in small group who worked on it individually to see the practicality of PISA command. Furthermore, the, practically, the practicality of PISA command can be seen where the, the problem given can be understood easily and interpreted well by the students. The revised result piloted to field tests to see the potential effect on students' mathematics literacy. So these are examples of PISA command that have been generated. This question tend to ask students the, to determine the cue at the cashier by completing the table. And 
the students were asked to find the general formula that fit the situation given. Another example is the panic buying case that occurred in Palembang at the beginning of COVID-19 in Indonesia. Students were given the data on the fluctuation of sugar price between the traditional market price and the national average price. Students were asked to analyze the data by explaining the situation that occurred. Then students were asked to determine when panic buying occurred in Palembang based on the data on the graph. I think that's it my presentation. Please let me know if you have any comment and suggestion related to my research. Feel free to contact my corresponding author's email or you can also type your comment on the comment box below. Uh, terima kasih. Thank you. Danke. See ya.